Dear Grade 1 students, This is the chapter about picture and bar graphs. And in this lesson, we will learn about picture graphs. Now let me tell you this story about this boy's bedroom. The toys are all over the place. He doesn't know how many toys he has, what he has and how many of each. I better organize this mess. He gets a pencil and paper and starts writing down his plan. Let's organize my toys. I will draw a special table called a graph to organize all of my toys. Now let's see. I have dolls, cars, teddy bears, and footballs. Now I will place similar toys together. I will place the teddy bears, dolls, cars, and footballs, each with the similar ones. Now that my toys are all organized, I will get on with my craft. I will place all the dolls, cars, teddy bears and footballs in their correct columns on the graph. So now I know, I use my picture graph to show my data in an orderly way. And now that I'm organized, I can answer questions easily. Hmm, how many dolls do I have? Well, one, two, three, four. I have four dolls. How many cars do I have? I will count the cars that are in the car column. They are five cars. How many teddy bears do I have? Looks like I have three. And how many footballs do I have? I have two footballs. Now, the trickiest question of all is, how many toys do I have? I can count all the toys to find out. I have 14 toys. Cool. Now it's your turn to answer. I asked my friends how they go to school. Remember, it's very important to read the question to know what you are looking for. Now, my friends either go on foot, by car, or by bus. Look at the table for a second. Let's answer the questions. How many friends go on foot? How many go by car? And how many go by bus? And finally, how many friends did I ask? I want to know the total number of friends who answered the question. If I count all the friends who answered, I will find that they are 12. Thank you for attending this session. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. See you next time.